Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to build a rig for my favorite genre of all time, and that is Southern Rock. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Before we get started, I need to give a special shout out to all my Patreon members who make this video possible. So thank you all for signing up, for supporting the channel, while also taking guitar lessons with me. I really do appreciate all of you guys. Thank you so much. If you're interested in studying either guitar theory, music production, whatever you're interested in that is applied to music with a guitar or a keyboard, you should consider checking it out. I talk about everything from how I built a certain soundtrack that I'm working on to guitar lessons. There are two tiers. One is $5 a month that gets you access to all written lessons with PDFs and guitar profiles. And then the second tier gives you access to live webinars where it's kind of like a, a group guitar lesson, but I always have prepared material that I will record and post so you'll have access to the archives. Come join us, check it out, and I'll see you there. The gear for today is my <laughs> brand new, I can't believe I got this at a guitar trade show, Heritage uh, 535. The 335 is probably the most versatile guitar ever made, and this one is amazing. Quick lesson while I go ahead and grab the Marshall amp and get everything set up. Um, this, uh, this guitar is made at the old Gibson factory. And the this one specifically was made on the old tools that made all the original Gibson Les Pauls. So if you really want a true vintage style Gibson guitar, you should look into Heritage. I mean, they have the Heritage. But um, All right, so I got two amps out that I am going to try out. Um, and I'm also going to use my impulse response. Once I have this built out, I'll use the, the stock uh, IRs too, but I just know how this IR reacts. So if you don't have this impulse response and if you want it, there's a link in the description of this video that'll get you $2 off of it. But what this replicates is an amp in the room sound. And I'm, I'm probably going to have a little bit of guitar bleed over just from the way that I, I do these videos. This guitar is just so loud that it, it's really hard to, uh, to control. Uh, first thing I'm going to do, though, is I'm going to increase the preset volume. I usually keep it around like 80s. Sorry, I had to do some leveling there. Um, okay, so what I want to do with this is I want to compare the JCM 800 versus the Plexi that's in here because both can do Southern Rock really, really well. <laughs> and this is just stock. I'll dial it in once I commit to one or the other. Uh -huh. This is yeah. We're gonna we're just gonna go with this. This is a great amp, the JCM. Uh, it's just pff, bro. This Plexi sounds so good. All right, let's see the settings. First thing we're gonna do is increase the amp level. Probably just no more than like seventy percent uh, volume on the Tone Master Pro and really any amp modeler. It's kind of a nightmare. <laughs> it's just you gotta find your levels and then just run with it and then maybe think about increasing your amp volume on your actual FR cab. So right now, to prevent extreme feedback through the microphone, because this microphone is just so good, um, I'm just running it through headphones. Once I'm done creating the video, what I'll probably end up doing is taking the headphones off and doing a final test on the FR cab. 
So if you're watching this, if you didn't hear me do any editing and saying like, we got to change this. And that means the preset we did is pretty, it, it works. Cause what I'm going to do is I'm going to track some stuff at the end. I need to turn my headphone volume down before I lose my hearing. One sec. We're just going to take a little break to say like, when you're working with headphones, like I am right now, be very mindful of your ears. Don't, don't ruin them by keeping the headphone level up. And also a mixing trade that I've learned in school is mix at low volumes first, then increase one to save your ears. But two, if your mix sounds really good low, it's going to sound even better at a higher volume. So that's how we're going to do this. I can barely kind of hear it. This right here is what I'm looking for. What we're going to do, you can basically go into any amplifier and read about it so we're gonna look for the plexi all right british plexi here is basically the bread and butter of what we're going to use to set this up so this is inspired by a marshall 1959 dual super lead 100 properly known as the plexi so you get the normal and bright channel they're jumped together all right, so volume one adjusts the overall volume for the normal channel. Volume two is for a bright channel. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to come back into here. I want this to be a little bit brighter. We're going to pull back the normal channel just a hair. On this guitar, this is a, a 335 type guitar. So I'm going to pull back the bass and the mid. I could probably leave the mids. The mids always sounds the best on a guitar. And we're going to push the super high frequencies just a hair. Now let me hear this. about these amps is that if you want a clean tone roll back your volume so what I'll do is I'll keep my bridge hot and I'll roll back on my neck sorry I had it in jazz mode That sounds good. We'll leave that there. Uh, I'm going to do two things. One, I'm going to run a compressor. I typically always run a compressor. I just really enjoy what a compressor does to your sound. Um, and really, I mean, in a, a production environment, you're always going to run a compressor. So let's see. Let's pull the compression. Let's just hear it. <laughs> That sounds pretty good. Uh, I'm going to add some reverb because I never play dry rigs. I will always have reverb on. Reverb just makes everything sound so much better. Let's just be honest. Uh, so I want to mess around with the celestial reverb. And I'm going to pull back pitch one. I'm going to set at zero. I wish they'd allow us to type this in. Pitch two. I'm going to drop to negative. I think I can just pull this all the way down. Yep. Uh, pitch decay. We're going to put this here. I don't think I'm going to touch anything else. Spillover will be off. Pull back the decay. This is still a really overpowering reverb. Uh, 
Uh, I think for Southern Rock, this is not going to be the best reverb. So I think I'm going to switch this out. You really can't go wrong with a spring reverb. Do I, is that what I want to use, though? I guess so. Let's just do the convoluted spring reverb, which is out of an old deluxe. I like to roll this back to about here. Yeah, that's way more fitting for the genre. And then I play uh, Thin Lizzy. pretty good i could probably even pull it back a little bit more uh because we want it there we don't want it overpowering really for southern rock it's not really anything complicated so we don't really need much more i could probably just leave it right here and be fine but i am gonna add in an overdrive uh i really enjoy this mythic drive unit and what this will do though is like if you're running high uh, like high gain, like say you're playing like uh, a Blackfoot train train. <laughs> I forgot how I, I haven't played it in a while, but you're, you're gonna want something like this to tighten up that re or tighten up that gain a little bit. And here it is with it off. playing it uh and really that's about it that is about it what i'll probably do first of all let me save it because i learned this lesson the hard way um i will probably run a uh i tend to always have a wah on i am just a, a firm believer in wah <laughs> Especially because there's so many different ways you can use a wall. It's not just a wow, 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 wow. That is great. Uh, the things I do on, on all of my wall is I run the Halo inductor. Because, uh, you know, I don't really have a reason. It's just what I like. Uh, let's go ahead and turn this off, too. And we will save. I think the only other thing I will do to make this like a complete rig is I'm going to add in another amp head. Let's go to amp heads. And I'll probably do the Princeton. Yeah, I think the Princeton would probably be the best to switch back and forth. Really, you can do any Fender amp. Take your pick. They'll all do the job. I'll go ahead and bypass this. Then amp levels. Okay, let's see where we're at. I'm going to push this a little. I'm going to push my treble. Now I like pushing the bass on my Fender amps. Really, if it's a real tube amp, I'll have bass all the way up. I take I take away. I don't add. Since I'm playing at 335, let me just hear the deluxe. This is my favorite real amp. Yeah, we're going to push that, and I'm going to push this up too. I'll probably leave that man I, I had the opportunity to play um my deluxe recently look these modelers are great they are not a substitute for the real thing 
I just want to be perfectly honest. <laughs> I know that that probably comes as a shock since I'm kind of like a, a tube fanboy, but it's just true. It's true. Uh, nothing sounds as good as a real deluxe cranked in the room. Plus, it has a distinct smell. Uh, we're going to go dirt clean. But you're paying for convenience, really. That's where these shine is, you know, my analog rig was so heavy. And I, I had a, I babied it because it's so expensive and I'm a musician, I'm, you know. So, but that's not to say that they sound bad. They really don't. They sound amazing. Um, it's just, don't expect it to sound, oh, wait, 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 this is actually a bug. I need to do this. I got to turn it on first. It's not a bug. It's a feature. Fellow software engineers are probably laughing. Um, yeah, we're going to turn that on and off. When it's on, I want it yellow. When it's off, yeah. Yeah. Save it. Yeah, and that's, that's probably it, folks. To be honest, if you can't get what you want out of this... Yeah, I'll probably keep it here, folks. If you can't get what you want out of this, the issue is probably not your gear. It's probably your playing. You probably want to uh, to work on that. But I did say that I am going to use a factory cab. So let's do that real quick. Let's go to cabinets. Uh, for the cab, let's do the new, let's do the British Blackback. Let's see what they're miking it by default. Ooh, our cuts are, they're all right. We're going to cut up. Yeah, that might be a little hot, but we'll leave it there. Oh, man, I never do. Let's just hear what it sounds like before I cast judgment. <laughs> Yeah, no thanks. Yeah, that's not bad. That's not bad at all. Um, you probably keep it there, to be honest. Oh, that would be good. I'd probably cut up here. I don't... This seems like where someone cut corners. Some cabs have some uh, some high pass and low or low cut. Some do not. So <laughs> the intern at Fender needs to clean that up. Oh, uh, let's see. Yeah, that's not bad. That's not bad. Uh, so if you're not going to use the custom impulse response, I would consider using the 412. Um, the EVH is also pretty good. Yeah, that'll work. Uh, I'm curious how the Jensen speaker sounds. Let's see. I'd probably use the I'd probably use the EVH over it. The Freeman one would sound pretty good on the seven string. <laughs> oh man, that's why we save our presets. I hit a button and it changed it. Yeah, the Friedman is also a really good one. Um, but it's really up to you. I'm gonna continue to use this impulse response. This impulse response just sounds great. All right, well, that's going to conclude today's video. Hey, before you jump off here, what I would really love for you to do is to leave me a comment about something you learned on this preset build that you haven't seen the others. Again, I just want to say thank you so much for watching up to this point. If you're here, I truly appreciate you. 
If you're interested in supporting the channel, please consider checking out my Patreon. If that's not your thing and you want to still continue to support the channel, consider grabbing some merch. You should see links down below. I've got a hat that I'm wearing, a shirt, and a coffee cup, and I'm gonna be I'm working on some few designs too, so it's always gonna be changing. But anyways, with that, I hope you all have a wonderful day, and thank you so much for spending your time with me. <laughs>